Hey everybody, welcome back down to the dungeon. Uh, today we are going to uh, prepare the lumber for the bench top. Uh, this is going to be the bench top to the Craig Universal Bench we built in the last video. Here I am uh, cross cutting seven 2x8s down to 62 inches. I'm looking for a final width of the bench top at 5 feet so I just went with 62 inches so that when I glue them up I can have a little slop on the ends and then just trim them off right at uh, 60 inches. So as you can see here I, I made the cross cut and here's the finished product of all seven boards. Alright, now we're onto the table saw. Uh, we're going to rip these at three inches. The first step is to set the blade height. Uh, I like to set the blade height just around middle of the gullet. I, so I set it to the gullet here and then I drop it down a little bit and lock it off. The first cut we're going to make is uh, going to take eh, maybe a quarter inch, a little less off of the rougher of the two ends to square up that roundish piece. I'll give you a little saw noise here. Okay, back to talk over mode. Uh, the main reason I'm talking over most of this is I don't think you want to hear the saw screaming for uh, the four minutes I'm doing cutting here and, and quite frankly uh, I'm doing laundry down here in a dungeon and uh, the washing machine kicks in when it hits a spin cycle and makes a hell of a racket so uh, I'll be talking to you here for the next couple of minutes while we make these cuts. Here I'm measuring for three inches so what I'm looking for is a three inch wide top. Uh, I'm getting two lengths out of each 62 inch uh, run of uh, lumber here. So that's going to leave me 14 one and a half wide uh, boards when you turn them on end, which should give me just a little over 21 inches because, you know, these things are a little bit more than one and a half, um, you know, fractions. All right, here's the first cut. I am putting the uh, edge that I had just trimmed up to the fence so that I get a straight cut. And I, I'm going to be honest, a few times here it might look like my hand's a little closer to the blade than it really is. I just think that's more the, uh, the, um, the way the lens is doing something here because I, I literally never get my fingers closer than three inches to the blade if I can help it, and I don't think I did there. I think it's more the camera uh, giving you a little bit of a weird angle. So there I'm admiring my work for whatever reason. So, yeah, looks nice. Let's move on. <clears throat> so I get that one out of the way, and I have uh, uh, 13 more to cuts to do. So here's the next one to finish off the first board. This is a brand new um, Diablo rip blade, 24 tooth rip blade. It uh, it's doing well here. This these two by eights have been sitting in my house for the better part of eight months now, so they're as dry as they're ever going to get in my house. Uh, and they moved a little bit, so you can kind of see that it's a little herky jerky, as uh, you know they had a little warp to them that the blade is fighting but it, they made fine cuts the the edges are coming out quite nicely here so i'm going to put these first two down and show you the cut and the square edges that they gave me and then at the end here i'll quickly show you all of them done as i made the rest of the cuts on the other six boards here you go those clamps are just loosely there to show you the final product they're not actually tight so now we're on to the glue up. Okay, everybody, uh, what I'm doing here is just going to start the glue up process. We're going to do this in two sections of seven boards each. And uh, I am taking every glue bottle I have here and emptying them out for this glue up. 
it, it uh it takes a lot of glue. Uh, I just uh, I have like four bottles that have uh, that are about half full, so I'm just going to kind of use them up here. They're all fairly new, so it's good glue. I'm not worried about that. Uh, it's just a matter that you know it's better to get rid of a bunch of half filled bottles than going out and buying a new one for this. Uh, so I basically am just dumping it on here and then spreading it out with a, a little thin piece of wood, and uh, you know it's kind of a you know, it's like butter and a piece of bread here. You want to get a nice, thin, but full coveraged coat of glue over the whole board. Once I get full coverage, I just take the next board. For this one, I put it on top, and I'm just going to flip it to the side. And then I'm going to give it a little rub back and forth to uh, get it uh, seated. Not much there. Uh, I'll do a rub joint better on the rest of them. I'm going to jump forward a little bit here now. Uh, I don't think you want to see me do this seven more times. Uh, we're going to get to the point where we are at the end here. This is the last one, and now I'll start clamping. Now in the clamping process, it's pretty important. I like to get an end clamp um, done first on each side. And then it's important to get the clamps to be rotated top and bottom. So you see the first one there I had on the bottom. So I went to put that one on the bottom and then I changed my mind and put it up on top. So you can see the first red one there is underneath, the next green one is on top, the next one I put in will go underneath, well, we're going to the other end, so this will go on top. And then I'll just alternate this with damn near every clamp I own. Uh, these uh, combination of Bessie and Woodcraft parallel clamps are a godsend. I mean, I know every woodworker on the planet says you can never have enough clamps. I'll jump into that and um, agree with that statement. Um, these clamps I got used. I literally scoured Craigslist every morning for like four months looking for, you know, I was searching for things like clamps, obviously, Bessie, Pony, Jurgensen. I just did a search for all the big clamp names, Jet, Parallel Clamps. I was looking for Parallel Clamps. You know, the Harbor Freight F Clamps are, are good enough for me. Uh, I'm trying to do a little glue squeeze out cleanup as I can there. Um, it's kind of a, this is a messy job. There's no way around it. But I, I managed to get 13 parallel clamps ranging from two to three to four feet from one guy who was downsizing. He had a cabinet shop and he had a bunch of them and, and he just had 13 sitting in his van. He didn't know how many I wanted. So he, he threw the 13 he was getting rid of in a van. And I want to say I paid a hundred bucks for all 13 of them, which is, you know, you guys know is a damn good deal. Um, so I'm going to fast forward here. We're going to skip ahead. Uh, it takes quite a while to put all the clamps on. So here we have it. Here is the final glue up with every single clamp I own on for the first seven boards. Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is the second half of my top. Uh, I've got half the clamps off here. I'm going to get the other half off now and we will uh, glue the two halves together. Okay guys, before we glue these two halves together, I want to do a little clean up of the glue squeeze out. And to do that, it's whatever works, man. This uh, five in one tool works well. A paint scraper would work even better. Um, I know people use chisels for this, but I think that's kind of sacrilege. Although I do have some older chisels I could use to do this. Alright guys, I got done with the 5-in-1 tool and I went to the belt sander, which is the quickest, most aggressive way to clean this mess up. Okay, I think you still see some stains here, but the glue is mostly gone. And the reason I want the glue gone is we're going to run this baby through the uh, planer. That's part of the reason we're in two pieces right now. This will fit through my planer. Alright, I... Uh... I went and muted the uh, volume off of this, and I'll talk through this. The uh, 
DeWalt planner I have here is a, it's an older one, but it's a good one. It's a DeWalt, uh, DeWalt uh, 733, I believe. It's a couple of models old now, but it does the job, but it is loud as hell, uh, which is the reason I'm talking over this here. You don't want to hear this thing screaming. This is a bit of a difficult uh, job because these, you know, they're only five feet long, so they're not that unmanageable, but they're a little difficult. Um, and I am going at 2x speed there, and now I just switched to 4x speed, so... I was not going as fast as it looks here. Uh, and I, I basically just took the two sections and ran them through both sides uh, until they were smooth and then gave them each one finish pass at the same thickness to get them both perfectly the same thickness. Okay guys, uh, welcome back. As you can see, I have planed both of these tabletops to be as flat as I can get them and uh, equal thickness. So uh, the good news is they're in that shape now. This is a very difficult glue up because this is the two pieces that can't go through my planer when I'm done. So I got to try to get them as good as I can because the only fix from there is hand planes and uh, the belt sander. Um, the good news is it's just one seam to glue, which is good because I'm just about out of glue. got two clamps ready in the gullets of the uh, workmates. Um, obviously we want to try to alternate the clamps top bottom again. I'm going to put every clamp I own on this damn thing um, that is that is two feet or larger. And if you notice you probably can't see it but I left I swept up all the dust that the planer made and I left it in a pile right below me in between these two uh, workmates. So that when I smash these two together, they're gonna to make a lot of squeeze out, and that squeeze out is just gonna fall into the pile of sawdust, which will uh, make my cleanup a little bit easier because I'm going heavy here. I don't wanna, you know, it's gonna be one seam to clean up, so it's not the end of the world. I will, uh, you know, belt sand the hell out of it if I have to. So let's spread this. <clears throat> Give it a good rub. All right, once the glue is uh, on and we get the two pieces together, it's put the clamps on time. While I do the first couple of clamps here, I'm trying to pay as close attention as I can to the center seam to get it as uh, flush as I can. Doing a little banging, a little pounding with my fist here in a minute, and uh, you're going to see I'm going to bring out the dead blow here soon. Uh, it, the better I can do getting this thing uh, flush for this glue up, the less I'm going to have to do to sand it, plane it, whatever, uh, at the end. Remember, this is too wide now to go through that uh, DeWalt planer I had, so when I say planing, it's going to be with hand planes. Okay, uh, the rest of the clamps are going on now. We're gonna, we're gonna go to fast mode here and see the end of that. clamped up. Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, we are now back upstairs in the shop. And as you can see, the tabletop is glued up and in place. It's not fastened to the table yet, to the Craig uh, Universal table. It is just sitting here and I just sanded the bottom smooth. We have a no seam here. This is going to sit nice and flat. Uh, I did a lot of scraping of the glue squeeze out because I couldn't really clean the bottom here. The top is going to look good when I flip it over. I'm going to stop this video here because it's getting long. Uh, putting this top together, I, I'm showing a lot of the clamping and glue up, which makes the video a little bit longer than it needs to be. 
uh, but I think some of you might have some interest in that, so I'm showing it. Those that don't, I'm sure we'll just fast forward right through it. Uh, the next video, we're going to cut these ends off straight because there's there's no way to actually get these glue ups to actually line up perfectly straight. Um, so I just made this 62 inches, and I'm going to cut an inch off each end perfectly square to make it 60 inches. Uh, and we'll put a vise here and a vise here. We're going to put some dog holes in it. I'm going to make a few jigs that uh, I'm going to use now that I have this nice sturdy bench that we can plane on. So there'll be two new jigs, two new vices, and uh, I haven't decided if I'm going to finish it yet. It will be finished when it goes to the basement as the table saw uh, outfeed table, but I don't like putting a finish on my bench top when I'm hand planing on it. I like it rough and a little gritty, and I just take a plane and go over it every once in a while and smooth it back out. So probably no finish until we get it downstairs. Uh, so thanks again for watching. That's it for this one. The next video will be out in a couple of days, which will have the vices and the jigs and the doggles. Thanks again. Bye.